Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about one of the most important copywriters of the last century. Uh, his thoughts, his books, his ads are still being studied by everybody that is worth anything in advertising. Uh, this is the genius of Eugene Schwartz. Um, one could say that he's a genius. Other people might say, well, he himself claims that he was the hardest working copywriter and that that's why he commanded such high fees and that's why his ads were so successful. And um, so he um, he was from the, somewhere in the Midwest and he had a, a tremendous work ethic. And uh, his business was basically to advertise books, so um, mail order books. So he would, um, so publishers would would hire him. They would give him the book, and then he would read the books uh, several times. The book that he was going to advertise. And he would take notes. He would underline uh, certain sections of the book. And then he would give uh, the underlined book to a secretary. And then the secretary, you have to remember that this is before computers, right? And uh, the secretary would write out or would type out all the quotes from the book and the page number. And then he claims that he really didn't write copy. Uh, he claims that he kind of assembled copy from the claims in the book. Yeah. So sometimes the lawyers in the publishing company would say, "Ah, can you can you really promise this? Uh, we are we're concerned about this promise. This doesn't sound like it's possible." And then he would. Uh, point them to a certain page number and he would say no the author is saying that on page so and so yeah so he wouldn't be lying uh, if there was a problem there was a problem with the 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 author of the book not with him um, sort of uh, lying about the product uh, if you know what I mean so there are many ads by Eugene Schwartz and um, because he was uh, not really writing copy but assembling copy, uh, at least I find it more difficult to analyze his ads and to, um, to replicate them, uh, if that makes any sense. It's not impossible. Many of his headlines can be reused, um, but... A lot of his material cannot be reused because it is so, um, he's so loyal to the book. Yeah. So this is a wonderful ad, ad with an amazing um, headline. The word now at the beginning. He always talked about having the, pr about promising, if possible, obviously, something quick, a quick result. Uh, to the reader yeah uh, sure if you want to perfect your piano playing and play in Carnegie Hall you may have to practice for 20 years but now you can learn to play twinkle twinkle if you know what I mean so there's always in in almost any product there is some kind of promise that can be made about today about now about this week um, something that the reader can do right now to benefit. And they can also benefit from the long-term uh, advantages, but in the headline you want to make sure that you put something that can be obtained quickly because not everybody has the patience to better themselves over years. Yeah, a lot of people want to better themselves, but perhaps they don't have the patience for a long-term project. 
So turn your mind into a mental magnet. Wow, incredible. Um, it's probably all from the book. Yeah. And then it continues that automatically draws friends, power, love, money, far beyond your fondest dreams into your life overnight. I mean, that's overnight is super powerful. And then he's talking about drawing friends. So being, you know, liked and having power, probably from uh, employment or money, love, who doesn't want love money, it already comes along with power. I mean, incredible. What a promise. What an ad. Very, very good ad. Um, yeah, so uh, he wrote a book, uh, uh, Breakthrough Advertising. Um, yeah, I don't recommend this book very often. Uh, it's a very deep book, and he talks about the cycles in marketing, uh, very long cycles uh, for many products. For example, there might be a time when weight loss pro uh, programs are very sought after. And then after a few years, then maybe uh, that specific weight loss program loses uh, its special um, appeal in the consumer population, right? And then maybe five years later, it comes back, that type of thing. Now, uh, this is... This is very interesting and very good, but that is for copywriters that are writing ads uh, kind of nationwide in a big market, yeah? Uh, that's not for everybody, yeah? So today, that would be if you were advertising for Apple Corporation, for example, something like that, then you have to worry about those cycles but for any big company that is not so humongous like a multinational uh this stuff yeah may may be a little bit too deep and there may be um lower hanging fruit if you know what i mean uh, usually marketing problems in companies are not that complicated and the marketing department is not yet that refined and that aware of bigger problems. So um, very often when you're a consultant and you come to a company, even if it's big, there is so much to do that is more basic that those cycles are kind of down the line, um, if you know what I mean. Okay, so a wonderful copywriter to learn from, uh, Eugene Schwartz. Uh, especially from his ads and especially also from his way of uh, working, which I'm going to talk about in the next video.